shit. I had to do this video over. Because, see, first of all, the sound didn't come out the first time. So this is what I'm saying. This dude gets on here and he rants because this black guy didn't get all this time for shooting his son and killing him. Okay, I know I just said that kind of harsh, but I didn't say it like that last time. The sound didn't come out. So I'm trying to go for the shock value by being very fucking honest in this because, you know, I understand your loss. Nobody needs to be dead. Nobody should have got killed. Nobody deserves to die. Death is something that you're supposed to grow into. You understand what I'm saying? So don't get me wrong in saying anything because you need to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying first. Okay? Now, this man is upset. He has the right to be upset. His child is dead. His child is dead. But you must first look at this situation. And I said this to a couple of friends the other day in a, a telephone, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, you know, teleconference or some shit. And um, what did this young person do to put himself in harm's way? You know, when I, when I mentioned this stuff like this, people said, well, well, what am I getting to? I'm getting to this. What the hell was your son doing up in these people's yard at night? Well, why were they there? You understand what I'm saying? This young man and his friends went over to these people's house to kick somebody's ass. And the boy ended up getting killed. Why? Why did this boy get killed? What did he do to put himself in position to get shot to death? You understand what I'm saying? John White is no different than Joe Horn. Joe Horn goes to the neighbor's house with a shotgun, shoots two guys in the back. That's what he did. He shot two guys in the back. And the first thing people are going to say is they were illegal aliens. They were criminals. This young kid in New York was not a criminal. This was a young man who was probably with his boys. They probably had some flack from the little black kid. He went over there to teach the little black kid a lesson and got shot. Up in somebody's yard, talking shit, and got shot. Threatening to kill the people in the house. Come on outside, blah, 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 and got shot. Joe Horn dials 911. He tells the cops, I'm going to kill him. I'm not going to let it happen. Goes over there, shoots two guys in the back, protecting his neighbor's property. He could have shot these guys in the arm. He could have shot them in the legs. He could have immobilized them. He could have held them at gunpoint. He could have done a lot of things but shoot these two men in the back while they were fleeing because they stole something. You understand what I'm saying? This young kid did not deserve to get shot. But look at the two stories. Horn protecting his neighbor's property, looked at like a hero, murders two people. Regardless if they were illegal aliens or not, he still murdered two people. Okay? If you think you can just shoot two people in the back, what if there were two delivery guys delivering something? Walked around to the back of the house, put a table or uh, chairs or whatever in the back of the house or whatever, and was leaving with the receipt in the envelope. A little bag with instructions. The tool bag. And what if he'd have ran up and shot two innocent cats? That kid in New York did not deserve to die. What if Joe Horn would have shot two innocent guys? Well, it appeared that they were doing something in the backyard. Yeah, they're dropping off something. I'm a caterer. We drop off shit a lot. 
how would I like it? You know, I'm leaving out the backyard and Johan runs up and shoots me. Just the other day, we delivered some stuff and had to take it through the backside of these people's house and put it in the backyard. Tables and hot boxes. What if Johan would have been next door? Oh, they're touching that stuff for the party. Yeah. That kid in New York didn't deserve to die. But let me get back on that subject. What did this kid do? Why were they there in apparently two different cars over at these people's house? I just saw the video a few minutes ago. And then I did a whole 10 minute video and then there was no sound. So now hopefully there will be sound. But this is not the same video I did a few minutes ago. That kid in New York did not deserve to die. And I keep on referring to this, but what was he doing there? What was his purpose there? Why did he reach at somebody who had a gun? His friend said he slapped the gun down, the guy raised the gun back up to, and he shot him. Why was you at somebody's house and they say you were screaming? Racial epithets. They say you were going off. Would you stop by there to say hi? What was your purpose at these people's house? Why did you put your friend in position for him to get shot in the face? Did he get shot for one of the other two guys? Who had the beef with the people in the house? What was the whole purpose of going to somebody's house not knowing what they would have, knowing that you finna go start something? What was the reason for you to be there? Before this man gets on this, this radio talk show and starts screaming how much time this guy should have had in prison, what if that was three black kids going to his house? Screaming, come outside, motherfucker, come outside, I've got something for you. Screaming, you know they were doing it. You can look at the video and see the kid's face, you knew they were there starting shit, and then somebody gets shot. For what? For what? I do not feel sorry for the person who got shot going over to somebody else's house to start some shit. I feel bad because he got shot because he shouldn't have. Because he shouldn't have had his ass over there. And it's fucking sad. Then the guy gets on a, what if uh, Aaron White's son gets shot or something? He said something like that. What if Aaron White gets shot? Why are you threatening to kill this man's son? Because your son went over to his house starting shit. If this man's son would have came to your house and you would have shot him, you would not have no remorse. Because you expect that of these kind of people. But instead, your son goes over there, does exactly what you expect the other person to have done, and bam, he gets shot. And you want somebody to feel sorry for him? What the fuck was he doing over there? He seemed to be, his, they didn't look like stupid kids. What the fuck were they doing over there for him to get shot? I'm not belittling your loss in any way, shape, or form. This was in 2006, and shit like that don't fucking heal. But on the other hand, this other guy protecting his neighbor's shit is a fucking hero. He's not a hero. He's a murderer. He got away with it. Like a whole bunch of people get away with shit. This man thinks this man got away with murdering his son. Even though the guy has got some jail time. Even though the guy's got probation and shit. The old guy in Texas ain't got shit. You see how that works? There will not be justice in this country. Not for this man whose son was killed. Not for those two guys who were shot in the back. Not for the old guy who got away with shooting him in the back. And not for the old black guy who shot the little kid in the face. There will be no justice. You can see, oh, this is Texas, and this is New York. In Texas, the black guy would not have dead, got no time.